Yeah, I did exactly the same, Captain Slow. I, I detached my trailer and sat there with it flashing. <laughs> Going, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Referic, where are the bacons on the trailer? They better have points in the trailer so you can put bacon on the trailer. Happy yeah, I hope so. Otherwise, I won't be buying trailers to transport special things that I need my bacons in. In real life, they are always placed on the eye height for car drivers, so they don't flash annoyingly in your face, especially early in the morning. Seems fair to me. I don't know if there's a limit, a limit, epiphic. Somebody said they've got 500 trailers. I honestly don't know. I The thing is, right, I guess the limit is how many, I don't know, how many slots you have in your garage, maybe? Does a garage have a limit on how many trailers it can take? It should do. That's insane. Find. Yeah, look, they can take it out of my millions. <laughs> All right, Lars, have a good one. That I don't know, BenQ. I don't know if you get more money by using your own trailers. In theory, you should do, because you, you're, you're taking wear and tear on your trailer. So in theory, you should. I should have gone to the fuel, shouldn't I? Never mind. Well, not desperate. You have five trailer types per person. I wonder what the game's like at the start now. You know when you start out and it's like, oh, the bank's offering you a loan to get your own truck. I wonder what it does to try and get your own trailer. Yep, the trailers take damage. When you look at the... When you look at the F7 page now, you get a breakdown of truck damage, trailer damage, and cargo damage. And the cargo damage will affect how much they pay you. I assume the trailer will wear down like the truck does. I, I don't know. I haven't got that far. But I assume that's what's going to happen. I've already done it, Creeper. It puts it back in your nearest garage. started a beta profile and the loans emails came through as before so does it make any attempt to sort of say get your own trailer now that was a that was a lag but it wasn't as long as the other ones yeah mr gibbons absolutely mate Look, there's another stutter, but it's nowhere near the length it was before. It must be a mod problem, I think. Have you been racing again? My, Did you see my final race, Mr. Gibbons? Oh my god. I, I got stuck in a split. 
2400 was the um, the strength of field 2400 I was basically 16th I was number 16 in a pack of 16 <laughs> it was just like are you actually kidding me well I, I you know apart from one or two spin-offs what I got back on the track Apart from that, I think I finished 11th. I, sh I should probably have finished 10th, but I finished 11th. And I still got a little bit of eye rating and safety rating out of it. But yeah. Crazy. 2400 pack. Meanwhile, the exact same race, Dre got split into a 1200 pack. It's just no justice. Is it plus one I rate and a goal? And then plus 0.16 safety, something like that. Well, I didn't hit anybody. Didn't make contact with anyone, I don't think. But yeah, most almost everybody on the field was just quicker. Really tough. Not joking. A 1200 split. Dre finished fourth in his 1200. If I could have got that, I reckon I could have like, I'd have probably like top two, top three, easily, easy got a podium. Sock, go and have a look. Read, read the blog. It'll be easier. What was funny though, um, Mr. Gibbons, was I was driving along, I was about lap five or six, seven maybe, and I was like, you know what I've really noticed though about this race is like nobody's binned it. There was no blue named cars, like nobody binned it, nobody spun off. So it's a mix, like the quality of driving so high, and I said it, and the very next bend, four cars, five cars just went bosh. <laughs> and I drove past going, hey. Get decent wheel with pedals and gear stick. Amazon, eBay, loads of places. Banatech, if you want to go up market. They're very similar pace drivers in the race, it only takes one spin and the rest all. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what happened. You know, the um, turn, was it one, two? Yeah, I think it's turn three. You have a long straight Road America, you go down after a long straight and you turn left I think it's turn three the one just before the little bridge in the hill one guy just overcooked it and that was it it was like bang bang two more cars bang bang <laughs> because they were all super super close to each other oh yeah 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 but yeah most of the pack were pulling in lap times that I've never even managed square logistics no way look at that that's awesome. It's a squirrel logistic tanker. Bad piggy, thank you for two months. Captain JC. Greetings from Maine. Hope you're having a great day. P.S. Have you noticed the parking is not lined up with the dock on the pickups? Uh, for a good laugh, you should try double clutching on this game. I've not actually noticed that, no. So uncanny that.
Get a shifter that isn't a scam, but like oh. What do you mean? Your shifter is like you buy a shifter with a wheel, don't you? Like you buy a thrustmaster shifter or something. Are you talking about the SKRS that sits on top? In which case get the Almar one. Ross Dock. 1L45. Do you mean the shifter or do you mean the SKRS bit that sits on top? Yeah, Peter, I'm just messing with everybody right now by doing this. <laughs> look, look at the bonus side. You wake up tomorrow thinking you've got work to do, and you won't. It'll be Sunday. And you'll be like, yay, squirrel! <laughs> That's what'll happen when you wake up tomorrow. You'll be like, oh, I don't want to get out of bed, I've got work to do. And then you go, wait a minute, it's Sunday. I don't need to get out of bed. The curry's arrived. Nice. Not had a good curry for a while. Unless you work on the railways. Well, I can't help you if it's a normal day for you. I can't help that one. Yeah, if you drive to work before you realise, then, um, we'll rip you. <laughs> you should have stayed in bed. Baz, why have you got three days off, you scruff? Was conductor Sundays into working day. Three weeks of vacation, Carl. That's outrageous. Baz, how many, how many, how much of your holiday allowance have you, are you burning in August? That's crazy. Look at that stutter. Look at that. Oh, you think it's the autosave? Hmm. I don't think it's the autosave for me anyway. You're all too polite. Uh, purified beef, welcome back. It's not autosave, because I remember I got one stutter and another one straight after. And I didn't see the autosave message either. Plus I'm saving to SSD, so it's not that. You're retired. Nice. Coming week using two days next week too as well. And the week after four. So how are you getting all the other days off? Imagine being sat up here holding on to the rails going, This is amazing! Oh, there's a stutter. That disproves that theory. Uh, 737 Jeff, thank you very much for gifting us up to Pixel. Welcome, Pixel. Don't forget to thank Jeff for your sub.
Ausfahrt means exit, doesn't it? It's German. Yeah, I'll make a bit about the update next week, OW. I've just had a super mega busy week. Because I'm having kitchen work done at the moment. Well, it was on Monday, Tuesday. Plus I had to re-roof my shed. And then it was Mrs. Squall's birthday. So that was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, knocked out. Plus a double, sorry, a triple flying lesson. It was just a horrendous week. But I got to watch Mission Impossible. Mission? Mission Impossible? I got to watch Mission Impossible on Mrs. Squall's birthday. I've got another one coming class, another little video. It's only about seven minutes long. Another IRO flying. Mission Impossible. <laughs> With Sean Connery. Reads every message except my question. <laughs> I literally didn't even see it. Oh, it's come back. Uh, is the economy of ETS2 now changed? Uh, no. No, so you've got your standard trailer job market, you've got your online job market, and you've now got a cargo market. So it's like an additional. Uh, I have two more. I have two more written exams to do, Neilange. I need to get those out the way in the next few weeks, and then I have to do my cross-country, what you call a qualifying cross-country, which is you solo, landing away at two different airfields, minimum of 150 mile round trip. So you do that, and then you basically get yourself ready for your check ride. Yes, I am Hungry Panda. Have you not seen any of the videos? I posted a couple of videos on, on my YouTube channel. Where you see me flying. So there isn't any difference it makes trailer ownership pointless. I don't think so. So you can now buy trailers. You can put them in your garages. Your AI will drive them. You can drive them. And the different types of trailer that you buy, you take different types of cargo. And you just make money that way. So it means I can drive around with this trailer of mine. I own this trailer. I will drop off the cargo and I can take different cargo with this trailer. I don't really see that as being pointless myself. Yeah, they said that this is only the first step, like the next release of the game, they'll bring out more trailer ownership stuff. I don't know if you make more money. That's the thing, girl, like I've never tried to... I don't know how you can measure that. Because you'd have to try and find a job with a, with a trailer that goes from roughly the same place with the same cargo and then, you know, and has the same aspects to it, like whether it's fragile, whether it's uh, urgent, and then do the same thing with your own trailer from the same cities with the same aspects to it. And that's going to be quite tricky to find out. I don't think he'll know. It's not like I've got a hotline with Pavel. I just pick up the phone and be like, Yo, Pavel! What's the uh, the economy system like in terms of how much you earn? You know, he's, like, he's got a little bit more stuff to think about than that.
Yeah, this is 132 beta. Tomorrow I won't be playing the 132. Tomorrow I'll be playing 131 and we'll have the new pro mods, which is not out yet. Remember when they announced BDF tandems two years ago and never came? Ask Pavel when he comes for tea on Sunday. What? He's in Prague. <laughs> I'm in Chelmsford. Yeah, all right. No, no wish. No, it doesn't. Promods are obviously going to have to rework to work for 132 before they release. So you can you can say with almost certainty now that Promods, the new Promods map, will not come out before 132 releases. There's no way they're going to release on 131. And you'll need the Italia DLC on the next one as well. Quark, thank you for the host. Jump into the Robin and fly to Prague. What, at 90 knots? <laughs> With no autopilot? Yeah, right. Yeah, I think it, I think Andy it probably does open up the multi-drop thing. I think this whole trailer ownership definitely is a step forward to that. I don't see why you couldn't do it. You could have your own box trailer and take two lots of cargo. Well, take take the same cargo maybe with two destinations on it. I really don't think that's going to be difficult to do. Yeah, I think that the beta of 132, I reckon, I reckon it'll be at least two weeks. This is quite a major change, really. And if they have got this stuttering problem, they're going to have to fix that as well. So then you've got like two two weeks of that, and then Pro Mods will probably take another one or two weeks. Well, I don't know, Try if that's that's a matter of opinion. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, Suskja, is some people don't have that problem, and there are plenty of people in chat who do have the stuttering problem, and I'm one of them. So some people haven't got it, and some people have. They're going to have to work out why those people have it first. Am I meant to be going that way? That kind of looks like I am. It's almost impossible to tell on that. that enough? Yeah, it is strange. And that's why I think it will be a tricky one to solve. of Germany have reworked on 132. It looks like what they're going to do is um, every time they drop a release they're going to like update some more Germany. See, so finally you can coordinate your truck and trailer. Finally, you can make the tyres and the wheels look the same on your truck and trailer. I mean, that's that's a big thing. Because even with paint skins, you could change the paint skin on the box trailer, but you couldn't do anything about the wheels. In the first version, I don't know my dog. And there's a stutter. Uh, 
sulk, I don't know. I mean, it, it kind of blows my mind that you can't walk around the garage. I, I just don't get why. I, I can't, I just don't think it's hard to do. I can understand them not wanting you to get out in the world and walk around because they've not built it for that, but even then, I think to myself, Well, yeah, when I was configuring the trailer in the garage, I don't see why I couldn't walk around that trailer. It's such a contained environment. Thoughts on more difficult drop-off points that aren't... Uh, well, they've already done that stuff. They've already done that in places and certainly if you get some of the uh, like the Russian maps and stuff they'll have some very very tricky drop off points but they the problem is SCS has to kind of they always have to pitch the game for the average Joe like they can't make things too difficult like not everybody is good at reversing not everybody is good at parking trailers yeah, seasonal changes and dynamic weather, like proper dynamic weather, that, that varies with season would be really cool. Yeah, you can always do a quick drop 6 4. What? I'm not arguing, Victor, I'm just saying that I think that's why they don't do it. I think that they have to they have to aim it for the um, for the average kind of average skilled player, shall we say. But they've already got like a skip parking, so you don't even have to park at all. And a simple parking and an advanced parking. Uh-oh. Those stupid German... I, it's German way of getting off the, the autobahn by going into a separate lane. Oh, well, it's no biggie. We're just going a slightly different way in. Yeah, I, I, Sportman, I would prefer it that way. I mean, if you've played, like I say, like Russ map, and before you used to have things like the Hungry map, they had some very cool drop-off points, because what they would do is they'd put them, you know, in the back of industrial estates, and on the way there would be parked cars, and there'd be, like, dumpsters in the way, and it would just make it so interesting to get your trailer into. But, of course, if you turned up with a quite a big trailer, or quite a wide trailer, quite often it was almost impossible to get in. It's not nice of that police car to just let me go. It's almost like he wants to drive into me. The AI just, from release to release to release, the AI just doesn't seem to change. But I know for a fact they have a dedicated AI person. 
So why? <laughs> why did we never get an update that says improve the AI, you know, whenever you're left turning, blah, 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 blah. Or improve traffic merge or, you know. Like the AI is a fairly significant part of the game. Because no physics. Well, they should add some physics, shouldn't they? It's like, it's like the logic, the decision that the AI makes is a bit weird. And if the AI is getting worse, then they must be changing it. And if they're changing it, why is it not in the release notes? Even if it just said in the release notes, made the AI worse, like, just say so. I just don't think it's a priority, that's why. Well, we, we chatted about D DX 11 and 12. It can't be 12. They'd have to go to 11. They can't force people onto Windows 10. Customer expects delivery. Not my fault they made it a 60 road down here. He'll get it before nightfall, what's he complaining about? Yeah, actually, I'm surprised we didn't get the Nokia ringtone. <laughs> they could force to Windows 10, Windows 7 with only support to 2019. I think that would be a huge, huge mistake, Captain Pie. A lot of people are going to be on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 for quite a long time. What, they think that the current AI doesn't need any improvements? Come on. They only have to look back through... through a lot of Sunday night truckings to realise how wrong that is. If this guy stops... <laughs> he nearly did as well. He nearly stopped to let me go. It's like the power of the indicator. Except when you're merging onto a motorway. Like, the AI is driving along three lanes, right? It's in the right-hand lane. There's nothing in lane two and three. You come in onto the, onto the motorway, onto lane one. It does not move. It does not move out the way. That's one thing they could add. Gravel sound hype. Neither do I, Matty. I'm fine with Windows 10. It's like literally, I done two win Windows 10 installations two weeks ago when I formatted my son's PC and my wife's PC. Install Windows 10. The next thing I download is Chrome. The thing I download after that, Spybot Anti Beacon. Run it. Boom. Windows 10's fine. And if you want to, you can even get something to make it look like Windows 8 or 7. Where are we parking this thing? Wait, what? Say what? the worst browser okay well 
you use your browser and I'll use mine. What a spy bot NTB can do. Basically, you know all the stuff in Windows 10? All the telemetry where it calls to Microsoft and gives them loads of information. All that, it just basically shuts it down. It stops Windows 10. Just That's why it's called anti-beacon. It stops it from calling back to Microsoft with loads of telemetry. Completely free. Install, click a button, done. I think it's a weird turning circle. Well, that's it. Like, even if Microsoft updates something, every time you restart Windows, it'll just check everything's locked down. It'll lock it down again. Turning so You welcome on MPR? It's that steering axle, it makes it like super turning. Reservoir tank. 55 XP trailer maneuvering bonus. Urgent delivery bonus. All the bonuses. I like this button here. Current company job offers where you can t click that and then take another load. That was a good idea. No, all that telemetry is what Microsoft got a lot of hate for when it for Windows 10 first came out. Right guys, I'm going to leave it there. That's a nine hour stream, that'll do. I'm tired. I'm going to hand you over to somebody else now. We're going to raid someone. I will be back tomorrow with Sunday Night Trucking, of course. And uh, tomorrow we're going to carry on looking at promods, the new promods release. 